Sup? I'm guessing you may have forgotten what I look like. I am drinking one of my favorite breweries, Rheingeist Water Melly. I thought it was a beer and I poured it and it's clear. And I was like, wait a minute. And it says watermelon punch. I was not expecting it to be clear. It's pretty good. It's good. Nice, light, refreshing. Buckle up for this ride. This will not disappoint. It'll be a shit show, I'm sure. Grab your drink and let's get into it. Hey guys, Chevy Rel here. I'm not even gonna say it's been a minute. It's been some months, maybe? I've only recorded once since June 1st. My name's Chevis. If you're new here, I have had a hell of a summer. I lost my dad. Even for the OGs since last you've seen this, uh, Dan's stepdad passed away at the end of August. So we have been dealt some blows. It's been rough. Hence me not being around much. But I have a lot to talk about. I'm in a pretty good mood today. I think I'm on the upswing. So y'all wanna talk about some fiber? I'm kind of excited about it. I'm not gonna talk about everything that has happened and transpired or we would be here for like six hours. I'm trying to narrow it down. <laughs> We're gonna talk about FOs, whips, happy mail, enabling, some fiber festivals. I have a lot of enabling. So editing Chevis here, I have decided that I'm gonna do this in two parts. I just felt like it was too long. So I thought that cutting it into two pieces would be a little more manageable. So all the things I just listed, Enabling and Happy Mail are going to be, and the Fiber Festivals are going to be in part two. So this is just going to be FOs and Whips. So here in the stuff room, this is the stuff room. The sun would typically be, see even right there, the sun would typically be in my eyes, you guys. My neighbors are probably like, what the hell is she doing? Because I have this like super, well, you can see it. <laughs> this super crappy sheet hung up over the window because if not, I would need sunglasses. The sun's gonna set right in my face. So hopefully this is uh, okay lighting wise. We're gonna start out with some FOs. First one, not fiber related. You're probably like, what the hell is that? Well, it's a water bottle that we got as a party favor from a party that we went to. I actually got two and I don't need two water bottles. And to be honest with you, I don't really use water bottles like this. Like I'm an insulated girl. And I'm like, what can I do with this? Well, the theme of the party was lemurs. So I put rice in it with little tchotchkes. I don't know what you call them and I made a toy for Cole. So I made a list of all the stuff that's in there so I can say, find something orange, find a skull, find something yellow, and promptly lost the list. Luckily, I have not glued the lid shut. I'm going to glue this shut, but I'm glad that I didn't. I waited because I have to dump this all out and make my list again. Look, there's one of my grandma's old thimbles. This button right here that you can't see was my other grandma's button. So there's some fun things in there. And I just think that that'll be fun for like in the car or something like that. It's just plain old white rice, like the cheapest white rice from the grocery. And I just threw it. There's a white pigment. I just saw her. At, uh, at, well, I saw her both at Allegan and Yellow Springs, which we'll talk about later. So that is my first FO. My second FO is a semi-fail, and also for Cole, I finished his rainbow socks. And this is the Magic Heel by the Autumn Acorn. It's a $4 pattern. The reason these are a fail, I tried them on Cole. Of course, he loved them but he has Flintstone feet and this wedge toe is way too wedged for him. That was the first problem. And now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I totally did those the wrong size. Look, that one's too small. 
I don't even know. Neither one of them fit. I've recently changed my sock recipe. I used to knit on size twos and I felt like my gauge had loosened up. So I wanted a tighter gauge. So I like the fabric that this is producing as far as the needle size, but I did uh, 52 stitches and Cole needs probably 56, maybe. They were a little skinny. So I will be giving these, oh, and I thought the leg was a little long. I was thinking that it would be good. I feel like it needs to be a shorter leg for him, but I will probably give these to Clinny's nephew, who's the same age as Cole. He's younger by like three months maybe. So if they don't fit Nolan, then I'll give them to somebody else, but it is an FO. Good news, I have plenty left. This is, I suppose I could tell you, this is Pretty Twisted and I forget the colorway. Her website will be linked below. She also has a podcast and I have this much left. So I will be able to knit him another pair. Uh, just need to alter that. So I'm gonna cast on more and I'm gonna do a rounded toe. Also from Pretty Twisted, I finished my Ripple Bralette by Jessie Made. Here it is. I will tell you, I love, love, love the yarn. This fits fine but it is very stretchy, basically no support. So the whole reason that I knit this is so that I could basically have that no bra feel, but with some something, like if I'm spending the night at somebody's house or whatever, and I don't wanna just be like free titting it all over the place, like I wanted something, which I think this will be fine. But I did try to wear it in public and it's not supportive enough. I wore it like under a tank top and this right here is twisted rib, but it was a warmer day and it got like loosey goosey and stayed that way. The thing is about it is I would not have wanted it to be any smaller because then I couldn't get into it. I'm thinking it's just because of the rib pattern, which brings me to my next FO, which is like an old FO, but I fixed. I talked about it on the last episode, I believe. This is also by Jessie Made. It is her framework bralette. I had dried this and this yarn down here is super wash, but the yarn that I wore, I wore, the yarn I used to knit the straps was not super wash and they felted. So it was like super short on me and I couldn't wear it anymore. So I cut the um, straps off and re-knit them, but I could have given them another inch. I was pulling it down, but here again, perfect to wear, like if you're just chilling at home, but I don't think that it's good enough for the public. Now, I do like this better. It is more supportive. I think it's because it's that reverse stockinette uh, compared to the ribbing. And this is a DK and this guy is fingering. So it's, that's the difference in support. But I'm glad I have both of them and I will wear both of them. Do I need to say anything else about that? Nope, that's it. That's all my FOs. Take a drink. Now we're on to whoops. My Yarmulata, I was going to, full disclosure, I was going to go back on my last episode and see what I talked about because I was basically a zombie and remember nothing. I was going to look and see how far along I was on my Yarmulata. I don't know. I think I marked it with a stitch marker, but don't remember which one it was. I've moved them a couple times. I have no idea. You'll get a better look at this when it's finished. I mean, I kind of feel like you're probably sick of looking at it at this point because it's taken me quite a bit. I'm right here. Like I said, I don't know where I was before. The last time you saw it could have been one of these, but don't remember. 
I will tell you the one thing that I've changed on this is I'm doing Russian joins. I am using my lamb strings. This is like the what I have left of the first half. This is my lamb strings uh, spooky advent. That's not what she calls it. I can't remember what she calls it. It's her Halloween-ish October spooky October advent. And I, oh, I found a shell. I forgot I got this for Cole at the lake and I forgot to give it to him. Anyway, I started doing Russian joins when I changed colors because I was running out and I don't think you'll ever be able to tell. So even if I'm like a half a half a row, I don't, it's not a big deal. This has not gotten any love for a while because I've been loving some other things. Uh, I will tell you one of the things that I've been loving is my Always Queenie Believe Notions Kit. I've shown this before. I love this thing, you guys. It has everything. It has little stitch markers. It has scissors. It ha oh, my uh, tapestry needles didn't make it back in there or they fell out. I have a million of them, so I'll add those back in. You put your tapestry needles in there. So that has been going with me everywhere. So hopefully this will get some more love on it later. I just needed a break. I think that I was burnt out. That is a lot of, while I love it, it was a lot of the same. And I was just kind of like, I needed some fresh something, something, you know? Anyway, that is the Yarmulata pattern. And I don't even know where it is. The back is completely finished for that. Oh, here it is. That is the Yarmulata pattern by Chrissy Abbott. It's a $10 pattern. That's what it will look like. Mine's gonna be more like a kimono because it's gonna be really long. And I sh I've been showing this. I should just like stop showing it. That's the back. Here is the whole back. So that's what it will all look like. And I am on the front two pieces and then you put them together. And this one I did not do Russian joins and I have hella ends to weave in. That's in my Just Me Grandma basket and I love it. I also started a pair of vanilla socks. They live in my Chipette basket. I love it so much. This was gifted to me by Chip and Aaron from Fiber Hustle. This thing has been to all the places. And I wish that I would have known how much this was going to travel because I'd love to have a picture of it everywhere it's been. It's been to all the fiber festivals. It's been on a pontoon boat. It's been on car rides. It's been at the pond. It's like it's been to all the places. But these are my vanilla socks, which is left over from the yarn that I used, the, my Pretty Twisted, with the uh, Ripple Bralette. I did two at a time, which is my normal Fish Lips Kiss heel. I have run out of that. They're, they're just going to be shorties. I knew they were going to be. And I'm getting ready to switch to, I'm just going to put a little gray cuff on them. And I think I'm going to try and do a, a tab cuff bottom up. We'll see how that works. I think I've talked about attempting to do that in the past. Cross your fingers on that one. Or I guess I'm going to cross my fingers. You, you can do whatever you want. Oh, one of the things that I was going to say about this. Oh, no. Are you kidding me right now? So I picked this up upside down. The gray yarn flew out of the basket and went all the way under this train case thing in front of me. Steamer trunk. Steamer trunk. And I don't see it anywhere. I mean, oh, found it. That's a ditto right there. Just chilling on the floor. The one thing I was going to tell you about this is I just wanted these to be a lazy pair of socks for me. I wasn't trying to be pretty. I didn't care. You know how toe up socks, like I always do the Judy's Magic Cast on and typically a sock toe has the make one left, make one right. And I was like, whatever. I just did the knit front and back 
on both sides. And, and can you tell? Can you tell? I mean, yeah, there's a little guy. There's a little guy. For those of you who have ever wanted to be lazy and like, why do I have to do make one right, make one left? Why can't I just do knit front and back? Here you go. Here you go. That's what it looks like. Can you tell? Because I can't. A muggle, definitely, I mean, I can. I shouldn't say I can't. I definitely can. But a muggle absolutely would not. So if you're looking to knit a quick gift and you don't want to mess around with MLRs and MLLs. M I M M make one M one. Jesus. You know what I mean, right? You get it. Knit front and back works just fine. That page is done. This one is anticlimactic. 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 I always say that wrong. Let me look it up. Every single time I question myself. Anticlimactic. Mac. Like a Big Mac. Wonder if I'll remember. Anticlimactic. Because I don't have very much done. This is in my badass Leela Styles bag. It has this uh, faux leather bottom and the handle. These are my all time favorite bags. I love a flat bottom and I love drawstring because I hate zipping my yarn up in zippers. I do have zipper bags that I use, but rarely. I almost always pull out these guys. The zipper bags that I use are gifts from people I love and probably seasonal bags. Those are when I do. And I and it never fails. I always zip my yarn up in them and I get mad at myself. And so these are my favorite. But this bag is by Katie Did. It's last year's pattern. I don't know what her new spooky bags look like. Kind of makes me want to look. Katie did bags. What you got going on, girl? She has some stuff in her shop. Oh, this is this is on here. Dia de los Muertos. That's what this one is, obviously, right? And she has a spiderweb bag on there. So she does have some spooky season bags. She I also have this bag, roller skates. And she is an excellent bag maker. Okay. Oh. I could show you what's in it. I was all like Twitter painted over the bag. Okay. This is the Gudrin, Gudrin, Gudrin by Mia Evardson. Edvardson. It's a free pattern. It's on my phone because I haven't printed it. And I just wanted, I mean, obviously it's late. I should have made this. I'm always behind, right? Like I'm making summer tops in the winter. But then what happens is I'm like, I'm making a summer top in the winter. I need to be making winter tops. And then summer comes and I don't have any summer tops. So I was like, F it. I'm just going to make it. So this is in the Fibra Natura. And I've knit this before. Naturalin. It was a whopping $6 at Tuesday mornings. That's where I got this. It's a cotton linen blend. It's been in my stash forever and I've been wanting to do something like this with it as I just completely pulled my needles out of it. Stand by. There we go. I don't know if you could, there you can. I am doing every other row natural and pink because I don't know if I have enough yarn to do the whole top and I thought well I'll use the pink where I can and it is such a pale, pale pink next to a natural. I have it in my yarn condoms and spooky also. The way you knit this is there's panel. This is a panel that runs down the shoulder to probably there. And then you, I don't, uh, I don't know how, uh, cause I haven't gotten to that part yet, but you knit the two panels 12 inches. It's 12 inches. And then somehow you do the next stuff and you knit down. This is a super slow knit because there's something else that has been taking up my time that I'm in love with. But this will for sure be done by next season. So I'm not really in any sort of hurry. 
I am knitting just these strips on some metal double points and I have little stoppers from Fox and Pine Stitches. These were gifted to me by Robin from Yarnbirds. You know, she's my girl, she's my friend, and she knows that we are happy campers, so she has those, and this is how I'm using them. Now, these are meant to be, you know, like stoppers so your stitches don't fall out, which, hey, if I was this smart person, I could have done this and then my stitches wouldn't have fallen off. But I use them as to make my double points because I hate knitting with, like when you're knitting something this wide, I don't want a straight needle because they're like this freaking long and I don't want to mess around with a cord. I, I like this, these are good, they work perfect. So that's a whip that's basically a wee itty bitty little thing. This next thing, is in my Hank bag from Cincinnati, the Flying Pig. You guys know we do that race every year. This has been getting major love, major, major love. This is Fiber from On a Quest for Fiber. She is in Canada. I did her, oh, you can't see it. It's back there. I did her uh, fiber advent last year and I chose Polworth. It is on a saved story, like a highlighted story on my Instagram. If you want to see what her advent looked like last year, not sure she's doing one this year. I haven't looked because I'm not doing any advents this year. This was the full braid she sent me and I have split this. It was four ounces. I've split it and pre-drafted it and have been absolutely loving it. I am spinning on my favorite spindle, which is by Shepherd Woodworking, Shepherd's Woodworking. I got this in 2018. It has this super cool uh, black, and, I forget what it's called, but black and pink. And there's my little turtle. I read somewhere that you can actually flip it upside down and use this as the top and it like rounds it out. And I tried it just for a couple and I was like, meh, I don't like it, felt weird. So I just went back to doing it normal. And I have been loving it. It's so much fun and therapeutic and... It's been bringing me joy for as cliche and <laughs> as that is anymore. It is what it is, right? Stand by, I need another beverage. Drink two. These are my new go-to for drinkable beers. And I love them. It is by Blue Moon and it's Light Sky Citrus Wheat. They only have 36 carbs and 95 calories, which I give zero shits about, but I like how they taste. They are very drinkable. And Rheingeist is sort of like a pinkies out, not cheap beer. Not that this is cheap either, but I save those for just special, you know, like I drink one and then move on to something else. What are you guys drinking? So this is my second to last whip because my last whip I'm gonna show you is for the Cal I'll, because I wanted to save that for last. But this is the whip that I have been obsessed with. I've been obsessed with it. This will be finished by the end of the weekend. I'm so stinking excited for it. The Knitting Tree in LA is a yarn shop. Annette sent this to me and my friend Brenda. I freaking love Brenda. I've talked about her a whole bunch before. A lot of you have seen this on Instagram. You guys, this is an emotional support chicken and it comes in this super... <laughs> Cool packaging. I have to read it to you. It says your emotional support knitting kit. Her name is Hennifer Lopez. Now every colorway has a different name. Mine is Hennifer Lopez. 
It says 100% free range. Life is hard. We all need a chicken to make it better. As you guys know, and I've already mentioned, we've had some losses. I've been struggling. I'm, I'm really good right now, but it's, it's not been fun. And as soon as I saw this, I knew I needed one and it was on my list. And then they sent me one and it made me cry. And I'm so excited to hug this stupid chicken. I cannot wait. The back, it says six piece bucket o chicken, just add stuffing. And it has all the stuff. All the materials you need are included except the stuffing. And the finished size is 10 by 13 inches. And that's what it looks like, assuming you get gauge. I don't know if mine will be that big because I am a tight knitter. However, I am using the recommended needles. And this is how far I am. The next thing is the beak. So I'm that far. It even comes with the safety eyes and the yellow and red beak and I want to say what? Well, that's the waddle. Uh, I want to say crown. That's not right. Comb. Comb. Have I ever told you guys that? I think I have. I probably have. I grew up in a very rural spot of the country in like the mi very Midwest. It was in the middle of a cornfield. We were 4-H kids. Most of my friends took cows and pigs and sheep and I took pigeons. <laughs> and whenever it comes up, all my friends make fun of me. But I love my pigeons. And one of the things is that you had to say like what all the parts were. Not that pigeons don't have combs, but we were in the same barn with the chickens. So I had friends who had chickens and yeah, combs. Anywho, here is Hennifer Lopez, which I think I might give her another name. You think she needs another name? There could be a whole bunch of other names. But I don't know, I kind of like Hennifer. It might just be Hennifer, because that's her given name. <laughs> I love it so much and it's not even stuffed yet. Look at it. Is that the inside? Oh, that's here, it's the wrong side. Not that it probably, I mean, it does matter, but look at her. Isn't she so cute, even headless? A headless chicken. If you've grown up in the country, you also know what a headless chicken is, I'm guessing. But this is her, it's knit like this, and it's all garter stitch. It is all garter stitch. It is squishy. It, I mean, this knit is the most enjoyable knit I've knit in a really long time. It's a weekend knit. You guys have heard me talk about my weekend knits. You could finish this in a weekend very easily if it was the only thing you were working on. I cannot wait to hug this thing. There is the rest of her head. And then I think there's some sort of panel that'll come down here. And then it's supposed to be 10 by 13 inches. Maybe once it's stuffed, I feel like mine's a little small, but maybe once it's stuffed, I, guys, I can't wait to hog it. Her Hennifer. I suppose it could be him. Hennifer the him, <gasps> maybe. So I'm very, very, very excited about this. The next time you see it, it will be complete. They have other colorways. Go check it out. They also have um, an instruction video. If you don't want to purchase this super cute freaking kit, you can just buy the pattern. I think it's $5. Did I write that down? I did. The pattern is by Annette. Uh, Annette Corsino, and it's $5. It'll be linked below. Or I also linked uh, the website so you can grab the kit. I'm in love with it, you guys. I'm in love with it. I have not been, in case you can't tell, this excited about a knitting pattern in a long time. And I've needed this excitement. I've been down in the dumps for a while. It feels good to kind of be like back to myself a little bit. And this helped. And then it will be 
even better if I get down in the dumps again because I'll be able to hug Hennifer. Next. My last whip is the cow we're doing. I know that cows, first off, I know I've been gone forever. I know you guys have been, some of you, adding hashtags on Instagram. The knit along we're doing is the deep stash knit along. And what that means is, and you can join in whenever you want to. You know me, I, I don't like to follow rules. I'm a rule breaker. You can do whatever you want, really don't care. Here's the deal, guys. I have prizes. I originally said that I would give a few prizes when I finished this. What a deep stash cal is, is this was the yarn that was in my stash that was allocated for something specific the longest. This yarn has been in my stash to knit this pattern forever. And I finally said, I need to just pick it because I wasn't picking it. I just wasn't picking it. And I was like, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna prompt everybody else to do it too. So this is the Across the Pond shawl. That's what it looks like. It's by Knitting Expat and it is a $6.48 pattern. I am using Honey Girl Farms yarn. I don't know the last time y'all saw it, it's very slow moving. It is going to be luscious when I get it done. This yarn is amazing, amazing, amazing. And it is, look, I'm almost done with that one. Here's the yarn I'm using. I have a Knitting Notions, holy shit balls yarn condom and a Leela Styles Labyrinth yarn condom. And Honey Girl Farms, it's a ball with the Goblin King colorway, hence the labyrinth. And then this one is, I lost the tag. I mean, I didn't lose the tag. It's around here somewhere. Oh, right here. Gold Dust. Gold Dust Semi-Solid. So mine will be the Goblin King all the way and then the Gold Dust for the lace. This is how far I am. You can never see it. It blows out every time. The cool thing about this pattern is these little honeycomb details on it. I said that I would draw prizes when I was done with this. Well, because I am taking this so slow and I have so many prizes, I am going to, first off, the way you enter this cow, I'm done talking about it, that. The way you enter this cow is it's Instagram only. Post a picture of your deep stash. So go to your stash, pick something that you have allocated for a specific pattern eons ago and you just never pick it and just knit the damn thing or crochet. I've been forgetting to say that. I'm so sorry. I've been forgetting to, cro to crochet that. I've been forgetting to say that. I really should have called this a mal, not a cal. That was my bad. But crochet is also fully welcome. You bought this yarn to make this pattern and it's been in your stash forever. Your oldest one, grab it, start it, Post pictures on Instagram and use the hashtag DSCal. I know I already started it. I know it's a mal, but DSCal23. And that's the hashtag I'm going to use to draw prizes. And guess what? We're going to draw one today because that's, that's just what we're going to do. Because I have prizes and I want you all to get them. I am going to sporadically throughout me knitting this shawl, I'm just going to randomly choose a number of a comment, count to that number, and I'll let you know on Instagram, like I'll tag you in an Instagram story that I've drawn your name. So you could just randomly receive a prize and I'll just send you something from the prize bin. What do you think? There are fewer than 100 on here. There's this many. That's it, you guys, that's it. So you want some prizes? 
Go grab something old out of your stash and start making it. Hey, Google, give me a random... Oh, cancel. Let me count these real quick. Hey, Google, give me a random number between 1 and 50. Thirty-eight. Thank you. Thirty-eight. Okay, the winner is Miri Yummy underscore W Merjam Merjam Merjam. That's I feel like I'm totally botching your name, but if that is you, send me a message, Peckernat. Send me a message on Instagram with your address. Is your full name on here? Yes. Send me a message with your address and I will send you a prize for doing the deep stash cal. She is knitting fingerless mittens for her upcoming trip to Iceland. Well, you're clearly cooler than me. So we'll send you some fun stuff. Have so much fun in Iceland. Maybe you've already done it. She posted that June 8th, so she might be finished with these. If you're watching, let me know. This snap, you guys. At least it's not a fly. At least, oh. If only I had cat-like reflexes. Flies are disgusting. Gnats I can kind of be okay with. Anyway, congratulations. You guys start hashtagging. DSCal23, and I'll just, when I get a burr up my ass, a bee in my bonnet, I'll just start randomly drawing prizes. That's how we're going to do this. And then I'll draw a few when I finish it, just for like shits and giggles. Rules, it can be knitting, crochet, you don't have to finish it. It has to be old. Like, it's the honor system, truly. This was in my stash for years, and I purchased it specifically to knit this pattern and it just was in there for a long time so pick something like that out of your stash that you purchased to make a specific pattern and you just always choose something else over it that is your mission should you choose to accept it and maybe you'll win a prize from the stash Ooh, next is a uh, did not finish this is also in a katie did bag it's her bucket bag it's like the Katie did episode. See, I just love her bags. They're just good. So you pull this down. It's like a little collar and you have a bucket. And this is my mandala blanket that I was knitting for my boss's daughter. It's really cool. Not knitting, crocheting. I'm crocheting it. And it pissed me off. So this is where it is. I have no idea where it was the last time you saw it. I got like this far out, effed it up. Then there were like these little bobbles that you, um, let me show you. Okay, I got like clear out here somewhere. And these guys right here, these red guys, is that where it was? Yeah, these red guys you do after the fact separately and then you knot them, like you tie knots in them, followed the pattern and I knotted them instead of weaving the ends in and exactly what you think happened, happened. I was using super slippery acrylic yarn and then I got out here and these guys started coming undone and that pissed me off and then I didn't like the colors that I had and that pissed me off and then you know, like it was after my dad died. I, like I was just like, fuck this thing. So it's a did not finish. And it's not getting finished. And I haven't totally disassembled it yet. I mean, obviously I can keep this. I think I might still give it to Sam because she could do like a cute little picture or something. But I'm not, no, I'm not doing it. Now, what I could do is just keep this motif and start like just doing plain stuff, but I don't even want to do that. Like I have a bad taste in my mouth over it. Meh.
going. Keep going. All right, stop. Good job.